y'all ain't nothing like a good Drew Hill classic. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me pause my music because that's going to probably kind of distract me a little bit and I don't need that. But welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this makeup look. I'm not even going anywhere. It's Christmas Eve today. And I was like, I haven't filmed a makeup look in a long time. So let's do one today. I got so much new makeup, y'all. New foundation, new uh, eyeshadows, like concealer, um, just a whole bunch of new stuff. We're just gonna play in it all today. Let's just go ahead, jump into it. I already did my eyebrows. We're gonna go right into the eyeshadow. Now, since we're gonna be playing a new eyeshadow, why not switch it up a little bit? bit? Instead of me priming my lids with concealer, I'm gonna prime my lids with this P. Louise White. Uh, I don't even know what look I'm going for. We're just about to be playing and hopefully it comes out cute. So let's zoom in a little bit so y'all could just focus in on the eyes and yeah. Now that y'all are all up close and personal into every flaw on my face, <laughs> let's get this started. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. This is uh, the P. Louise base in the color white. And we're just priming the uh, lid for this. And the reason I'm using this color is because whatever eyeshadow I use, it'll definitely, you know, pop more. I'm not sure if this base really crease, but better safe than sorry, we're gonna set it. And now I've never used this brand before. I was always curious, but I've never ordered. But this is the Crayon Case by Supercent. This has been out for a long while. I don't know if this one's been out for a while, but I know the matte book has. I think that was her first eyeshadow palette, but we're gonna use this uh, box of crayons and it looks like this. So we're gonna start with the color tan. And it's just going to be like a transi transitional color. So we're going to take the color red and we're just going to put that in the crease. Now I just wiped off the brush a little bit because I want to pull it up. definitely want to pack that into the crease a little bit more but before I do that I'm gonna take um, the color yellow and I'm gonna blend that with this red now I'm gonna pack that a little bit more into the crease You don't want it to look so harsh, so. Go back into the yellow. Now I'm gonna take this silver color. Nah, I'm gonna take this gold color and just put it on the lid. This is pigmented. It's pigmented. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see how pigmented that is? Let's do this other eye and I'll be back. Okay, now both eyes are done. What I'm gonna do is take this makeup wipe and you know, clean that gold and everything from underneath my eye. And you guys, this palette, y'all, the box of crayons palette is pigmented like i love it i think that's one of my favorite palettes right now so now i'm gonna prime my face with this milk primer so i'm pretty sure y'all didn't heard about this foundation it's called eau maquillage 
you know you take a test or whatever and they kind of send you a shape by the test that you take I end up doing it twice I did it once and it was a really light color so then I told them it was too light or whatever it's the it would be the perfect winter time shape but you know it it should be a little bit darker so they said retake the test or whatever so they sent me a, a second one and this one is a little bit darker I got a lighter color and a darker color so I'm just gonna blend both of them because I have tried this already and I really do like it. Like the foundation is like really nice. It's not my perfect shade, but if I blend both of them, I'm pretty sure it'll give me my perfect shade or at least that's what I'm hoping for. And they also sent me their concealer. Their concealer is called Fuck I'm Flawless. I like the concealer, it's just not thick enough. Like I like my concealer to be like a little bit thick, creamy, um, like the NARS. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use both of these uh, on top of each other. And my contour is the same contour. I haven't changed contours. Anastasia's foundation stick in the color Cool Earth. I've been using this since the beginning of time for uh, my contour. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm gonna take these headphones out and just listen to my music on my phone because when it's in my ear, it's like, you know, I can't concentrate. So we're gonna play it from my phone, but we're gonna turn it down so y'all can't really hear it because I don't need YouTube copyrighting my videos because I'm trying to make money. <laughs> I'm gonna squirt some of this on my hand. I'm gonna do two pumps of both. It's probably be way too much foundation, but hey. Hmm. That was a good idea when I first thought of it, but I don't know how I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna just take my foundation brush and, you know. And put it wherever I will put the foundation at. Okay, now we're gonna put on the contour. Yeah, I got that shit all over my hand, but let's blend the foundation in. this contour okay now let's put concealer on so okay you see how this color this concealer is really it's not thick whatsoever it's too watery for me but we gonna still use it Now this is my NARS Creamy Concealer. Y'all know I just love this concealer. And I'm just simply putting it right on top. Now I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend out that concealer. I want it to dry a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, this is good. My honey just calling me um my honey love calling me and he said i look like whitney houston on a super bowl <laughs> and now i can't unsee it i was like i sure do i remember she had this thing with the hair but thank you and that if i can sing like whitney houston i have coin but i don't have that voice we're gonna set with my same i got so much powder but I always just go back to this one because I like this one the most. Um, Juvia's Place have really good setting powder too, but we're gonna use this um, Sasha Buttercup because this is my, my first love. So we're not gonna change that for the video right now. I'll probably do that, use, use another concealer in the next video. 
but we're just setting the powder. Like this is so nice. Like it's just like the powder is perfectly just sinking into my skin like. blender because you know you have to blow off the excess powder I don't know why I blow it like that <laughs> yeah like I'm I, I don't know I can't get over how good this is blended like it just looks really good to me I hope it looked the same way on camera when I'm editing because if it don't I'm gonna be so disappointed but it should because that's what it looks like in person yes girl you did you did that she did that I did that we did that <laughs> okay now I'm gonna take this Sephora micro smooth powder just to dust off everything now we're just patting this this is just you know to dust off the extraness We're gonna take this Juvia's Place blush in the color Bella. But I've definitely been getting into blush more lately than more lately. I don't think that's right. More, it's more, that don't sound right. Let's just say lately, cause I don't think more lately sound right. But I've been getting into blush lately. It, it gives a nice little finish to it, so. Because at first y'all know, I used to say, I feel like blush is for white people. But I've learned to kind of get into it more. I want to say it's because Jackie Ina, she definitely does a good blush on her face. Now we're going to bronze. Y'all, honestly, I got another bronze powder, but I'm just, this is not out yet. And it looks raggedy, but who cares? Like, this is just to bronze a little bit. And, you know blend the blush a little bit better let's do the under eye I don't even know what color I'm gonna use I don't know if I want to use that red I think that would kind of be a little bit extra at the bottom so I don't think I'm gonna do red I think I'm gonna do this brown but before I do that let me do I'm gonna put some black liner at the bottom Now we're gonna take that brown. What y'all think? I think I'm gonna mix it with the red because I don't want it to look completely different, but I don't want it to be so red either. <laughs> yes, girl! Do y'all see that? Do y'all see it? That is cute! Now I, I don't even know if I want to do a liner like I initially wanted to do a liner but I don't know anymore because that is really pretty I'm not gonna do the liner so what I'm basically doing is just bringing the shadow out a little bit to create a, a little wing I didn't add any more red this is a, just the same brush and I'm just bleeding it just Feathering it out a little bit of this, what it's called. I don't be knowing, but this is a cute makeup look. So I'm gonna do mascara and lashes off camera. These lashes is from AliExpress, like, I got them a while ago. And since I'm not going anywhere, I didn't wanna use some, like, good lashes. Cause these are good lashes, but they're not, you know, my expensive lashes. So these is gonna work for this video. Now we're gonna do the highlight. This is the Nubia highlight from Juvia's Place. It looks really good. Uh, only thing I don't like about highlights like this, like you have to really be careful because you don't wanna, you know, go overboard with a highlight. And I just feel like if I ever spilled that on the floor, it would be the end, the end of it all. 
Like what I like about this Nubia, this Nubia highlight, it's not like so much. It's like one of those highlights that you know you build onto. Yeah, I should be going somewhere as good as this makeup look. <laughs> I want to make sure I tell y'all everything I'm using. But this is a Bad Gal Bang Mascara. That's what I use at the bottom. The lashes come from AliExpress, of course. We're doing a nude lip because I just love a nude lip. So I got these new colors from Juvia's Place. I don't know which one I'm going to do, so I'm just going to swatch. Yep, we're going to do muted. First, we're going to outline our lips with in the color brown because that's what you're supposed to do. Now we're going to take the color muted. We're going to take this gloss and put some gloss on top because I don't know, that nude is just too nude or something. The gloss makes it look a little bit better. I'm still not, I don't know, it's something that that's off to me but this is what it's gonna look like I'm gonna take this off and do my edges I don't know maybe I don't need to do my edges like maybe I can do it in a way that y'all can't really see my edges y'all this is a sew-in with uh, crochet hair in the front do y'all see that mm -mm. I should have known it was gonna bleed. Now I'm gonna have to pay attention to that the whole video and talk like this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it definitely bleeds. Oh, anywho, yeah, I'm not doing my edges because the way my laziness is set up, I'm not getting up to go and get edge control. This is what y'all I'm about. I'm giving y'all puffy hair. Yeah, I don't really see my edges anyways. Like, let me put some of this over some. Because I want it to be side. Like, see? It's supposed to be... Ah, see? The way my laziness is. I do not feel like going to go get edge control. I don't. Y'all just act like my edges are laid. Like, because this will be laid right here. But y'all just pretend that it is because my laziness is not about that. Like, I just... Everything in me is telling me... Don't go get no edge control and lay down edges. You good, like. Y'all yeah, just gonna have to play pretend. <laughs> but yes, like, girl. <sighs> yeah. Can y'all see it? Can y'all, like, I need to go somewhere. Y'all, yeah, I'm loving this look. Like, everything about it, I'm not gonna set because it's pointless for me to set because I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm most likely about to take this off because my honey love is out of town with his boo. So, we're not gonna be going anywhere, but when I do go somewhere, I'm doing this look. This is the look I'm doing. Let me, let me FaceTime him. First, let me take my pictures. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I supposed to be finishing up this video, but I look so good. Like, yeah, let me stop playing and um, finish editing this video. But let's end this video. Anywho, okay. Yeah, so let's stop playing and do this video, girl. Okay, let's do this video. See, this is why I can't finish a video because I want to play. Anywho, let's finish. Okay, till I stop playing. We're not playing no more. We're getting into it. We're ending this video, y'all. So, this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know what y'all think about this makeup look. Let me know what y'all think about the hair. Because, honey, I'm giving everything. Yes, girl. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Uh, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe link down at the bottom. Um, see, I can't stop playing. But y'all, I used to love Drew. Tale, you can so off track, but I did used to love Drew Hill back in the day, though. Um, Cisco specifically. Uh, 
yeah if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe link down below like the video share this video and as always i'll see you guys in my next video oh yeah before i end this video merry christmas eve merry christmas um i'm pretty sure this video probably won't be posted until monday so it's of course it's gonna be after christmas when y'all see it but uh merry christmas y'all but bye y'all